Hello guys and welcome to another Super Circuit Maker mini build. This time we're taking a look at an automatic counter. It looks like this. And what it does is that it will automatically count from zero up to a desired number and then it will automatically reset itself uh, and then start all over again. It also has a manual reset input if you want to manually re reset it. Um, right, not much more to say. I'm doing this with a type of memory cell. So basically this is a lesson in how to use a memory cell and fun use of a, a gate and uh, some operators. All right, let's I have done two variants. Uh, the only difference is that this one will require a lever to like to start it. If it's in off mode, it will just freeze and re and just stay where it is. And if you turn it on, it will continue count upwards. And it will count as fast as you like. If you just set the ender pulsar to a low value, for example, then it will go very fast. All right, uh, let's start with this one. As I said, the blue input over here is from the lever. You have to turn it on. When it's on, then the output from this one will be when the pulsar is pulsing. So you can see now that the output is in the same rate as this one. If I turn it off, then nothing will happen. 20 ticks means one time per second, so it will count up the number once per second. So if you can see here, 51, 152, 153, and so on. And white is the output, so we're taking the output signal here and here. Any way you want. You can, of course, uh, reconfigure this, but th this is the standard. Um, so white is always the signal. The pulsar will output 255 when it's, if I can match it there. And the end gate will also pulse in 255. And if I divide it with itself, um, yeah. there's after the end gate, these are identical. So end gate goes up here and here. So now we have divide with itself. So here we, have, we will have zero or one. Each time we have one here, the, this adder will add one to the previous value. And that's white. So white here, this white and this white is, well, they are basically the same, all this white, but as soon as we pulse here, then this part of white will be white plus one. And that will enter the memory loop. So before we get into the memory loop, let's take a look at this part here. We have another divider with itself. So here we have 255 from this torch. And that means we'll have one here. So this one is multiplied with white and I'll put white, of course. And, and over here we're doing the same thing. So this will just loop around like this. But as soon as we add one here, plus one, we'll enter this one and we'll get a new value here and then I'll put the same value here again. So as soon as we add one with a short pulse, will increase this memory value. If we have zero here, then we're multiplying white with zero. So zero here will reset to down to down to zero again. And this is what we're doing down here. So now we have the memory, we have the value, it's just looping. We're outputting the value as well. We're feeding it back into the adder. So white is just looping around. So that's time to reset it. 
over here, we're taking the signal value and we subtract it with the with, with the constant. This is this has to be set to your desired reset value minus one. So if I wanted to reset at 255, then I'll set it to 255. 254 I mean. So let's see, we're okay, we're slowly counting up. And you can see here power five right now. And as soon as this one will step up another 17 steps, we'll get power six. There we got it. So signal minus constant. So 255 minus 254. Then we'll get a one here. If the white signal is lower or equal to this uh, constant, we will have zero here as we have right now. Zero here means zero here and that means the torch is turned on. But as soon as we are higher than the constant, then we will have a signal of one here and the one will, um, it will turn off the torch. This will give us zero and zero divided will be zero and zero will reset. If I press this button, then I got a high signal here and that will turn off the torch and it will make the entire memory cell reset again. So now let's turn this down. Five. See, counting up quite quickly. Oh, little lag spike there. So now we're counting, counting, counting. You can see this one is also climbing up. This resonator is entirely optional. When I tried this out in the beginning, I had an analog value decoder and to display. I covered this in a separate video before. You'll find it in the playlist. Nine, let's see, we're counting, closing in on 255. Then it reset, it, if I didn't have this resonator to a delay, now we'll have a five second delay. I, it didn't reset the signal, it reset it too fast, so I didn't even see the value on the uh, seven segment displays before it started all over again. So it reached like 253 and then the it was too slow, so it just, oh, there, we reset. And it will hold it low and hold it in reset state for five seconds. So it will reset directly, but it won't start again until after some time. So you can remove this, it's not very important, but at some points it might be useful to delay the uh, the, the uh, reset or re delay the start all over again. All right, um, that's pretty much it. And if you want to reset in uh, at another number, just change this constant to like 100. Well, let's see here. Start all over again, and when it reaches 100, it will count past it because of this delay, but it will reset, uh, it will start the reset sequence when we reach 100. If you want to do the opposite, then you simply, let me demonstrate this, if you want to count down, let's see, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then it will reset. So you can change this value to something much lower or just remove it. Um, so we can actually add, let's see, demonstrate it here. All right, now it works. I just removed the, <laughs> just removed them and uh, replaced everything. I don't know why. So now you can see it's counting downwards here and here, and I'm just taking 255 minus the signal. And then I guess it's best to have this at maximum. 
that will count all the way down to, to, to zero. For every 20 removable, then it will reset at 20 or 40 or 60 and so on. And that means that we're counting down here, 7, 3, 6, 5, 4 and so on. So now we've covered everything there is to say about this automatic counter. Uh, perhaps not very useful, but at times it actually could be. And uh, if not, when? Well, at least you know how the memory cell works. And we have done a few builds on that on Reddit. I'll post a link in the video description to a quite interesting thread about memory cell. And uh, I have contributed with a design of my own. Perhaps it's even, it can be improved even further. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.